It's usually best to contribute to Public Logi in Foxhole, but sometimes it's better to save up equipment and resources for later. This short tutorial will explain how reserve stockpiles work, so you can save up your resources for that big op you're planning. Before we get into the details, I have to first stress the importance of not making hidden supply caches. Players who are unaware of the reserve system may try to hide items or vehicles in bushes, at the edge of the map, off radar, or in hard to reach areas. Hiding supplies like this almost never works. Many players specifically seek out these hidden caches. If you're lucky, the player who finds it will be on your team. If you're unlucky, the enemy will find it. The most important part of reserving resources is the reserve stockpile functionality at a storage depot. In the UI for a storage depot, pressing the big plus button will create a new reserve stockpile. The reserve stockpile is only accessible to you and players you share it with. Reserve stockpiles are accessed with the drop down menu in the top right. Each reserve stockpile has a six digit number code associated with it. You can view this code by pressing view code or copy it directly to your clipboard with copy code. Sharing this code with another player allows them to access the stockpile. To access the stockpile that you have a code for, press the keypad button in the storage depot UI. You only have to enter the stockpile code, not its name. If you've entered it correctly, the stockpile should be accessible to you from the drop down menu. Reserve stockpiles have a visibility setting. Making the stockpile visible allows any player to see its existence and contents. A visible stockpile also allows any player to contribute to the stockpile while not being able to take things from it. This can be good for something like operation preparation, where you may not want anyone to be tempted to remove things until the right time. In addition to limiting access to supplies, reserve stockpiles offer faster assembly times than the public stockpile. Retrieving anything from a storage depot requires assembling that item, but items retrieved from reserve stockpiles are assembled almost instantly, whereas public items can take quite some time. Only reservable crates can be stored in reserve stockpiles. This prevents players from taking public resources and hoarding them for themselves. A crate is reservable if it was produced in a personal or squad queue and has never been in a public stockpile. You can tell if a crate is reservable by mousing over it. The word reservable will be present in orange letters in the help text. Non-reservable crates will not have this mark. Raw materials can be retrieved from the refinery as reservable crates by right-clicking on the output queue and pressing Retrieve as Crates. Reservable crates can be freely shared between players and remain reservable as long as they are never put into a public stockpile or unpackaged. Experienced logistics players know that it is possible to use pack material crates at a storage depot or shipping container to put raw materials into crate form. Materials created this way are never reservable. This means if you accidentally retrieve your materials from a refinery outside of crates, they cannot be made reservable. Logistics vehicles are also reservable. Like materials and equipment, these follow the same logic that they can never have been public to be reservable. Logistics vehicles are most unarmed vehicles, including trucks, flatbeds, harvesters, and light utility vehicles like the Argonaut. You can tell if a particular vehicle is reservable by opening its inventory and looking for an orange lock symbol in the top right corner. Non-reservable vehicles will not have this symbol. You can see which vehicles count as logistics vehicles by browsing the Vehicles tab in the reserve stockpile. Combat vehicles cannot be reserved no matter how they were made. They are always public and there is no way to hold them for later use. However, all vehicle crates, including those for combat vehicles, can be reservable. Vehicle crates, which could be made in the mass production factory, are reservable under the same rules as item crates, regardless of what kind of vehicle is contained within. This is the only way to reserve combat vehicles, and once unpackaged, the combat vehicles within are always public. When unpackaging a crate of vehicles, if the vehicles are reservable, there will be an option to unpack to reserve stockpile. If the vehicles are not reservable, this option will be unavailable. Shippables, like shipping containers and emplacements, follow similar logic to vehicles. Only logistic shippables, like containers and concrete mixers, are reservable. Emplacements, like the 68mm anti-tank cannon, are weapons and are not reservable. However, like vehicles, crates of shippables are reservable, regardless of the contents. Shipping containers, which are shippables that can hold up to 40 crates of items, can safely mix reservable and non-reservable items. This is indicated in the shipping container UI, which will show the number of reservable crates to the right of a vertical bar. There is a limit to how much can be stored in a reservable stockpile. For most items, the limit is 100 crates each. For raw materials, like basic materials, refined materials, explosive materials, and high explosive materials, the limit is 300 crates each. For vehicles, vehicle crates, shippables, and shippable crates, the limit is 10. Each player is allowed to have up to three reserve stockpiles per storage depot. This means that the total maximum reserve per player is 900 crates each of raw materials, 300 crates each of other items, and 30 crates of vehicles and shippables. Reserve stockpiles don't last forever. 49 hours after the last time something is added to the stockpile, the stockpile expires and the contents are transferred to the public stockpile. Fortunately, this is easily preventable, as even removing and resubmitting a single crate resets this timer. Reserve stockpiles are often the key to success for large organized groups in Foxhole. They let players exercise finer control over when and where equipment is brought to the front line, avoiding overstocking and subsequent shortage. 
However, public logistics is often the backbone of the front line, and so players should try to contribute to the public effort whenever they can. This video is produced by members of the 38th Special Operations Group, a colonial group specializing in providing the right people with the right tools in the right place at the right time. Find out more at 38SOG.club. As always, thanks for watching.